Atlanta Tigers and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Going to be an interesting contrast in styles in this one as one of baseball's hardest throwers goes head to head with a top finesse arm. Next. So digging in now, Leonis Martin. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. Previous head to head matchups with Kenta Maeda. He's hitless in three at bats. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Maeda has found success in his career at limiting base hits. He usually turns in outings where his hits per nine numbers are really respectable, and obviously that goes a long way as a starting pitcher. Matty V, there's a couple of things that really hurt you when you're a starting pitcher. Walks and giving up many base hits per nine innings. This guy keeps the ball in play, doesn't give up a lot of hits, doesn't walk very many batters, and when you do that, it's a good recipe for success, and it's worked for him so far in his career. Turner is over, and he puts it away for the first down. Next for the Tigers, Jose Iglesias, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And a ball, 1-0. Bases are empty, one man out. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. Tiger shortstop with a ball and two strikes. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire. And that's out number two. First pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. A wind-up and the 0-2 pitch. Check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three and the inning. So striding in, Chris Taylor. he will leave things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. The Center fielder, Chris Taylor. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Grounded to third. Throw to the plate. Oh, he may have been a little disoriented there or something. That's going to allow his man to reach first safely. Here's Corey Seager, a recipient of a National League Silver Slugger Award for his contributions at shortstop last year. First pitch of the at-bat. He's running. A bouncer to the left side, and that's through for a hit. And the runner will score from first. And he will pull into third with an RBI triple. Next for the Dodgers, Justin Turner. And the Dodgers with an opportunity for more here in the first. First pitch on its way. Mine toward the alley in left center. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger coming into this one against Michael Fulmer. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. As a look, now the pitch. Fastball that he's way out in front of, a swing and a miss. Good job there to jump ahead with the fastball. If he's going to get back on track out there, the fastball is what he's going to start to need locating first and foremost. Then he can work his other pitches off of that. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now foul tip straight into the catcher's glove and he's able to hang on to record the first out of the inning. Next up for Los Angeles, Yasiel Puig. They've got two already home in the inning and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. Hit on the ground out for short and that's through into left, a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. It's a 3-0 game. And he is out trying for two bases, but credit him with a single and an RBI here. 
And the plate, Jock Peterson looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Here's the first pitch to him. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. Machado has it. Throw in time and the side is retired. Nick Castellanos now. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Next up for Detroit, James McCann. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And a slider not close here as he missed with it down and in. It's ball one. Shoots this one over to first. Bellinger fields cleanly. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Digging in the switch hitter, Jimer Candelario. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Sent on the ground out to second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal, coming into this one against Michael Fulmer. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at-bats. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And that's through for a hit. So the Dodgers get their leadoff hitter on base to kick off the inning. Throw won't get him. Into the box now, Logan Forsythe. Second baseman, Logan from the belt, the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Mata giving chase. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The pitcher, Kenta Maeda, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. Runners on his way to third. And a quick throw he's behind in. the runner to second, but he's back in safely. He's set, and the pitch. Bunt still on here with one away as he puts this one down. A throw to the plate, and after that head scratcher, everybody's going to be safe. On oh, a bad decision there as they won't get him at third. Number three. Ready for Chris another chance. Taylor. Chris Taylor reached on an error and then eventually scored in his first at bat. Zero. Way late on the fastball for strike one. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, oh. Okay. And the runner's coming home. High in the air out to center field. Martin is under it. Two gone. Throw behind him to third. And the runner is late getting back to third. So it's a double play. And that'll retire this. Stepping in. Mikey Matza. 7-8-9. Bottom of the order set to go here in the third. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. The 1-0. He swung on and missed in that strike one. Oh. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Now the 2-1 pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. The 2-2. Two -two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Now the payoff pitch home. And he lays off there. Ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Dixon Machado digs in. Mata gets his lead at first. Nobody out. I just couldn't pull that one back in time. It's 0-2 now. Inside and high with that one. One ball, two strikes. The one-two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. 
Next to hit will be the pitcher, Michael Fulmer. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. You find yourself down 0-2 in these situations. It's tough to check your swing right there. That was a nice job. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Michael Fulmer is at number two here in the third inning. Got in front as he rolls over it to second. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Corey Seager. It was an RBI triple for him in his first at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat. Fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. fly ball out to straightaway center. Martin is under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Digging in to try it again. Justin Turner. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. First delivery to him on the way. On the ground to the right side. Gloved by Cabrera. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Digging in for his second at bat, Cody Bellinger looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air out to center field. Martin is under it. And the inning is over. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Jose Iglesias, 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike 3 in his Jose first plate appearance. Iglesias. In there at the knees, strike 1. And he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that will be ruled a strike. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a swing and a high pop-up. Bellinger is there for it. Two down. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Nicholas Castellanos. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Runs up to bunt here, but he missed it for strike one. The pitch. Squares with two outs and gets it down. And he'll be thrown out at first. So that didn't go. Riding in once again, Yasiel Puig. He was cut down at second, attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through. First pitch on its way. Bouncer up the middle. On to first, but it's too late as the first base umpire says they just missed getting him at the back. So coming to the plate, Jock Peterson. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here comes the first pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Runner goes for third. Puig leads off second with nobody out. Chopped weakly to the right. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. And they're runners at the corners now. Yasmani Grandal. 
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And another runs across as this is now a 4-0 ball game. The tag, and they got him as he couldn't get back to second. Stepping into the box, Logan Forsythe. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Ground ball to second. This could be two. That's yeah, through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. And that runner will go no further than second, as there are two aboard now. So Number here's eight, the Dodgers eight. pitcher, Kenta Maeda. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. Barehanded on the hop. He's up with it. The throw. It's late. He's safe. So the bat. First offering on its way. Popped him up. Machado ranging into shallow right. He's got it, and there are two down now. Here's Corey Seager. One for two in the game. He tripled and scored back in the first. Corey Seager. First pitch coming. Here it is. This is skied into short left center. Mata sprinting after it. And he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning. Leading off the inning, James McCann. And they'll need him to get something going here. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. If they want to get things going, how about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. High in the air out to center field. Taylor is there and he has it for the first down. Stepping in, Jimer Candelario. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Popped high in the air. Forsythe shading to his right. Makes the play and there are two gone now. And that'll bring up Mikey Mato. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Hey, I can understand this batter's frustration right here. He's trying to be aggressive and get something going for his team. They are getting shut out in the fifth inning, but that's exactly why they're getting shut out. You need to keyhole and stay on the attack and make this pitcher come in the middle of the plate. Now a check swing, but that's in there for strike three anyway, and the inning is over. Ready for another shot now. Justin Turner, a hit in two tries for him so far. Justin Turner. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Left side. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Cody okay. Bellinger, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Pitches away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. A play at the plate. Oh, he may have been a little disoriented there or something. That's going to allow his man to reach first safely. Digging in once again, Yasiel Puig. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. No balls and a strike to count. I'm set with the 0 and 1. Bellinger's off and running. Now here's a bouncing ball headed for Iglesias at short. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Here's Jock Peterson now. One for two on his line so far in the game. Peterson. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Martin going back. Gone! Digging in and looking for more. Yosmani Grandal. First pitch on its way. Hit down the line at first. Cabrera's got it. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. 
Riding in once again, Logan Forsythe. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one, but the funny thing is he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes, but he's just not throwing enough quality strikes. Now the 2-0 home. High pop-up. Cabrera waits on it. And that's the third out. Ready for another chance. Dixon Machado. He'll lead things off against Kent Maeda. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Uh, we were expecting a pitcher's duel in this one, but it's turned into a bit of a lopsided contest so far. Fulmer hasn't had his best stuff today. All right, Dan. You look at this game, the finesse guy has been on. Nothing over the heart of the plate, really keeping these guys in a proverbial He's rocking up. chair where the power guy's missing over the heart. You know, it's hard to believe because sometimes you, you look at this guy that's throwing in the upper 90s, big power stuff, having a tough time getting through the lineup. And then you have a soft crosser, guy moving the ball up, down, in, and out. More than one way to get through a lineup. And the guy that's the finesse guy, he is really making it work in this one. And he pulled up in time, but it's a called strike two. Oh, and two, here it comes. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Got him swinging in the dirt. And that ends the inning. Next up for Los Angeles, Kenta Maeda getting the hit for himself here, largely due to the big cushion he's got to work with. And that's high for a ball, 1 0. Now the 1 0. One ball, one strike to count. The 1 1. Strike two, swinging. I got to count one and two. The one, two. Down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Now batting. Next for the Dodgers, Chris Taylor. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. One out, nobody on. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. You don't see too many guys at this level be late on off-speed pitches right there. That tells me he was totally sitting on something else or was going automatic take. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Under it is Martine, and that's out number two. Here's Corey Seager. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. High pop-up. Candelario has a play. And that's the third out. Digging in to try it again. Jose Iglesias, he's hitless in his two at-bats so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And it's fouled away. 1-1. Check swing, but he makes contact and hits it out in front of the plate. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Ready once again, Miguel Cabrera. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Uh, couldn't hold up on the curveball there as he went around for strike one. Now the pitch. Popped him up. And 
and he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Nick Castellanos now. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Tries to bunt his way on here, but this is a foul ball. Uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0-2 now. Pitch on the way. He struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven. So striding in, Justin Turner. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Popped up. Machado is under it. Makes the play one away. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. Here's the first pitch to him. That's lifted the other way out to left. Mata is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. And now is Yasiel Pui trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. High in the air out to center field. Martin is under it. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Digging in. James McCann. He flew out in his last at bat. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. As we head into the later innings in this game, I think it's safe to say that both starters have given their teams a great chance to win here today. You know what they say, Dan? The way to get to the big leagues from an offensive standpoint, you better be able to hit that fastball. And this power pitcher missed over the heart of the plate consistently. On the flip side, the finesse guy was on point. You know, this was like watching one of those days when Tommy John used to have that real good sinker ball. A guy like Frank Tanana. You don't have to throw 95 to 100 to get big league hitters out. As we saw in this one here, if you can finesse and move the ball in and out, you can win at the big league level. How about it? He's set. Here it comes. Try to check it, and it's 0-1. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Peterson on the run. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Dixon Machado digs in. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Breaking ball in for a strike. 0 and 2. Here it comes. Fly ball out toward left center field. On the move is Taylor. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Here's Jock Peterson now, and he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. The last at bat, Manny B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. Castellanos moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Ready now, Yosmani Grandal. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Popped him up. McCann over to his right. And he brings it in on the warning track. So coming to the plate, Logan Forsythe. He got under one and popped out his last time up. First pitch of the at bat. A shot down the first baseline. Well, this is foul for the first strike. Hit on the ground to third. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. So at the very least, that two out base hit will prevent the pitcher spot from leading off the next inning. Number so 18. here's the Dodgers pitcher, Kenta Maeda, and an opportunity here for a fourth plate appearance here this afternoon, and you have to say he's really earned it. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. The 1-1 home. Runners on the move for second. That's popped up. And that'll get down for a base hit. Forsyth 
Brown's third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate. As they push their lead to eight now. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Chris Taylor, runner in scoring position with Sudan. Taylor. Here's a high pop-up. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory. And that ends. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Michael Fulmer. No hits to this point. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. I know he's well aware of the fact he can't tie this with one swing of the bat, but maybe he's trying to ignite the boys by driving something out of the ballpark. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. This one's down to third. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Next for the Tigers, Jose Iglesias. The 0 and 1 delivery. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And there's his first base hit in this one. And next it'll be the Tigers cleanup hitter, Nicholas Castellanos. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Owen won the count. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Yeah, and they set him up. Throw on to first is going to be in time for the final out, and the Dodgers get a complete game shutout from their starter as this ball game is over.